We're onto the Porsche now. That CR's out of the way. Get all this cleaned up while I've got an opportunity for it. Same with this one. We'll just wipe this bit down. Uh, don't want to put too much water on it because as you can see, there's electrical components in there. So it's be a case of a, a nice damp cloth and wipe it down. We'll get onto its paint. Uh, there is issues with its paint. I don't know if the camera will pick them up. Uh, we'll soon find out. One minute, get the torch. As you can see, look, bit of focus for you. There is swirls there. They're so hard to pick up on camera, on silver cars. There they are, look, they're really faint. But you can see them. The other parts on the car are like it also. But again, it's hard to pick them up on camera. There they are, look, they're really light. If this was a darker car, you'd see them a hell of a lot more. Let's look at the rear quarters. Kind of look really light, it's hard to pick them up really. This is why silver cars are always a good buy. If you're trying to hide them. Roof doesn't seem too bad. So we'll get cracking anyway, we'll get it washed down, clayed up, tire removed and things like that. And we'll go from there. Porsche came in. I can feel it all. So that can't be doing the radiator any good. Get it all out. I remember one time I was doing a, what was it, a Range Rover. And I was doing this and I ended up pulling a bird's nest out. Video was on my page somewhere quite far back. It was last year sometime. So it's got a flashback of that. I don't know what the other side's like. Oh yeah, plenty in there. I don't know how, but there's even a fag button in there. And it keeps on coming. I can feel more. Jesus Christ, plenty more. I mean, look at all that, that's on this one and that's on that one. And they'll just be clogging the radiator and things like that. I'm guessing that's a radiator in there anyway. We get them wiped down now and we'll get it bagged off. Just clayed the door and the bonnet of the Porsche. I'm gonna clay the back now. Let's see how we get on. It wasn't as bad as the S2000 we just did. Which, to be fair, it wasn't particularly too bad that really to what I've seen in the past. Spoilers off the paint, as you can see. The CR's finally gone. I'll turn this over now in real time because even I don't know what it's going to look like this piece of the car. Well, slightly, as you can see. Had, well, fresh piece look. Let's try the roof. You're wondering what that is, it's just water. People often spend a lot of money on clay lubes and it's all irrelevant really. If you wanted to, you could put a bit of Johnson's baby shampoo with water, a few drops. I prefer to use water. To me, it feels like there's quite a bit coming off. I can hear it as well. Yeah, I mean, look. So it is coming off. So we've got all the car clayed up now. Any other contaminants off the uh, paintwork? Get a masking taped up. And we'll get on with some polishing. We'll get all on the rear done now.
started a little bit here so it does come off we'll get all the way down there and the wheels will be off next we'll get in the arches all right, so here, all done underneath we'll move on to the other side now That's the wheel off the paint, he cleaned all his calipers and discs, inside his arch, ready for when the wheel comes back, we'll have it all on. Car's all masking taped up now, prepped up, it's been clayed, tarred, all the fallout's been took off, I've wiped it all down with IPA alcohol, I've bag this area off it's clean behind it and I don't want any compound getting any of them gaps or anything like that. Uh, that tyres, well wheel, it's off for a refurb at Sean's. Same with this one here because I noticed there's that there. There's no point having three minted wheels and one that's curbed. So there she is. So tomorrow I'll be getting on with the polishing, the correction interior leather, glass, things like that while Sean's doing the painting and then it'll all come together right at the very end That's all them swirls gone out of there, look. If you use my window in the bathroom, toilet, there's a guide. There we go. Get his headlights sorted out, plenty on there. No if I've got a nice car and swirled up headlights. Well that's that sorted out. So we've got the other one done now. So I imagine it's just as bad. In the sun. Oh yeah, a lot. And you've got that one done, look. Nice and clear now. Now they're both done. I'm going to finish this rear quarter here because I ain't done that yet. I've done so much of the bonnet. If it's hard to get for you, but there's a line up there, look. So I've got this side to do. There's compound there that needs taken off. I just want to do the red lights while the sun was out. So there we go. It's coming together. I think where it's coming on, lovely. This side's all done. Just polish the glass. There's still polish on there. The next step we're going to get done is getting this trim sorted out. So as you can see, look. That's just a little bit, that's without even going in there, look. So, there we are, look. There's the back phone ringing, as always, when I'm doing a video. But you can see the difference. Well, that's half of it done. Looks a lot better, look. So now what we're going to do is, we'll get on all that part there. 
right in there behind the windscreen wipers. Get these done as well. Any other little bits that I spot while I'm working? And there's some bits behind here. There there was. Get these bits done. And here. So, let's get cracking. <laughs> 